Ted, lots of excuses today, but before we get to those excuses, I want to tell you about one woman we met today who's taking her level of the Brewers to a whole new level. She was not interested in catching a foul ball today. She was more interested in catching Cupid's arrow. The only thing masking the excitement in the air is the sizzle on the grill. Got some brats and hot dogs and we got some shrimp pockets over here. Brewers fans were in it for the long haul Monday, tailgating for hours on opening day. Gotta, gotta love going to Miller Park. Old habits die hard for Dawson Walling. Being all in one place and like cheering for the same team, it, it's great. He's here with his high school buddies soaking in what could be the last time they're all at the ballpark together before going their separate ways after graduation. Just don't tell their teachers. <laughs> uh, this is the first ba day back from spring break. So you should be at school. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Some never miss the first game of the season. Ever since County Stadium. But for Vicki McNall, it's about passing down a tradition to her foster daughter, Ivy. Oh, it's just it's just great to see the excitement, you know, and the joy in their face when she got down here and she was like, we're at the stadium. She's like, I get to see the Brewers. <laughs> <laughs> Over at Lucretia Spence's table. I've heard about how opening day is. It literally is an experience. And so I wanted to feel it. Opening day is all about getting to first base. Uh, is he single? Oh, so, he's single. He's single. Blushing under his ball cap, single and ready to mingle photojournalist Eddie Poser can't help but think he scored a home run with this group. The sun came out as soon as she came over. Hey, cameraman. <laughs> Spence wants to win the game of love this season, hoping her love of the Brewers extends to finding the love of her life. If you were looking for a boyfriend, I mean, does it have to be a Brewers fan? Does that help? Um, it helps. I wouldn't want them to be a Cub fan. But if they meet, checked out all the boxes, we'd work it out. Krisha said Eddie ticked a lot of boxes, and she's already making plans to come back next season for her second tailgate. And Ted, of course, will keep you posted if Eddie gets an invite. I was always wondering why the usually cantankerous Eddie Poser seems to be on cloud nine this afternoon, and you've just solved that mystery, Brett Lemoyne.